Hey guys, how are y'all this morning? This video is a video on how to make or how I made a homecoming mom and a garter for my daughter and her boyfriend. So this isn't my usual uh, video. So if you don't care how to make a mom, this probably isn't the video for you. But I had several say, hey, I want to see how you do it. Uh, we don't do it in our state, but I like to watch how they're made. So, um, y'all just sit back and relax and uh, just enjoy the video. But I want to kind of show you what I'm doing so far. Right now, I've just been cutting some strips. The colors of their school is red, white, and blue. Um, so... I thought about doing these for the back and then of course a white flower I thought that would be real cute um, and then I've got some silver that I might incorporate somewhere I don't really know um, so right now I've got my circle and I'm fixing to make my little uh, I don't know what you call it these little where you kind of fold it over and you staple it and it makes these little triangle things and then that's going to go around my circle um, I will tell you now I'm not an experienced mom maker so, so I don't want to get here we go see the humongous mess it's everywhere right so first what I'm gonna do is just kind of the easiest way for me to do it is staple it at each end that way it just kind of stays in place for me when you're doing mums these is this is a great stapler to have because you can kind of get in there a little further this ribbon doesn't have any wire in it it would probably be easier if it did, but it don't. Try to get it in the middle where you've got the same amount on each side of the of the blue or whatever color your your school is. Last year I did her a Superman mom. I may go grab it and show it to you. It turned out really cute. And then I did her friend, um, her guy friend they weren't dating but uh, did him a Batman one and they turned out really cute that's why I wanted to do a Mickey and Minnie Mouse this year but she and oh shoot so she informed me that she didn't want to do she didn't want to do that so I've got some ribbon I need to take back now because she told me that <clears throat> the good thing about this stapler, if I can remember how, it just, the whole thing drops in there. I don't know if two will fit or not. We'll find out. Nope, two don't fit. Okay. So then, we're back at it. For some reason, I cannot get my mind wrapped around this this year. I need these. Those of you wondering, we'll measure. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is six inches long I got the polka dot fabric at Joann's and the blue I usually try to make her mom and whatever his, well, 
I've only had to make a garter just this year and last year. She's just now gotten to the age where she takes a guy friend or whatever. She hadn't had too many boyfriends because she's not old enough. And we don't allow her to date until she's 16. So, so her boyfriend comes over here and hangs out or um, he goes to church with us. And then we always go out and eat after church on Sunday, so he'll go eat with us. But neither one of them are old enough to drive yet. Okay, we'll see how far we can get with these. Now I'm gonna go around like this and staple them. Make sure I get it stapled on there pretty good. If you remember, this was my daughter's. This is as far as I've gotten on it with the polka dots. And I showed you how I did those. I believe I did anyway. But I started working on her boyfriends and I didn't record it. So this is what this looks like. His is a little bit different pattern and what I did. I'll just take this. And whenever I folded it, I just made it go to a sharp, sharp point like that. And then I stapled it on the back side, if you see that. I stapled it on the back side and went around. And then these, whenever I went to staple them, that was a smaller, see this one is the wider ribbon. And then I did this red, you see with like the size of this blue. So, so this, this is one's what? two inches wide. This one is an inch and a half. So the red on here is the inch and a half and the blue is the two inches. I'm sorry I didn't record that. And then this blue and white that you see right here, I did a reverse instead of doing it like this, I turned it over and laid it flat like that and then stapled it down here at the ends. So that's what these are going around. So if you put the flower in the middle of it, that's what it's looking like so far. And once, of course, once the flowers glued down on there, it will lay better. So I had to order, her and her boyfriend are both in the band and they're real big into the band. So I ordered this from Amazon and I just got it this morning. So what I'm fixing to do is I'm gonna staple these together like this, I'm gonna staple it on each end, wherever I'm having to be careful to make sure his doesn't look girly. And of course, my daughter told me this morning that this one right here looks girly to her. But you know what? I don't think it does. So we'll see. And then I had done some letters or music notes. I had painted them. And then put glitter on them, and then she told me that was too girly. So I had two letters left, so I just painted them flat black, and that will 
go on his. But I'm going to staple this. You need to make sure you've got the same width top and bottom. Staple at the end. What I'm going to do with these is I'm just going to fold it over and it's going to go in between. It's going to go in between right there. Like this. See? And then that's how that's going to go. And I'm going to go in between every one of these like that. Back down here. Okay, I think I got all my pieces cut. And then I've stapled a strip on each one of these. So now I'm just going to go around and add it just like I did this one. Okay, so that's how it looks so far. The different layers. It's kind of how you do it. You just keep layering and keep layering until you get it to the way you want it. I don't think there's any rhyme or reason or how many layers or just, just do what you want. What I've always done anyway. I've got some places on here because um, I'm coordinated I guess that it's got bigger gaps than others you see that like right there so what I'm thinking about doing is using a smaller ribbon to fill in those gaps so I'll put you back down here sorry keep moving you I'll cut Cut one to see how that looks. Same thing, my husband's car wire was just going off all ago because he hit it in his pocket and didn't even know it. I had to go to the other end of the house and say, hey, you got your alarm going off out there. I've got my daughters now and I have made several of these it's got it's gonna sh be shiny it's the silver with the music notes and see how shiny it is I've made several of these and then I'm making these it's got the Mickey Mouse on it so I've got one more and I'm gonna curl it for you just to show you how and you just do it like that and then you staple it there and then push this down I want it to be kind of flat hey guys how are y'all I am back at it back here in the craft room trying to work on these mums for a little while um, this so far is my daughter's mom and now i'm fixing to start doing the ribbons and uh this is 
this is her boyfriend. So right now they basically look a whole lot alike. I mean, hers has got some polka dots on it and the little Mickey Mouse. And his doesn't, his is more of a guy look. It doesn't have all the sparkles and all that. So that is where I'm at so far. I have painted for his, his name is Aiden. So I've put, I've painted an A to put in the middle of his and I'll hot glue it down later, but that'll be the A that goes on it. And then I've got a couple of music notes that'll go like to the side. And hers, I've painted a J for Jessica and hers has got glitter on it. So it's over there drying. So now what I'm fixing to do is work on the ribbons and I'm gonna place you down here. On these ribbons, you put like the name, uh, you put their name and the girlfriend name and then these are letters that spell out homecoming. So one of the ribbons will say homecoming on it. So that's what I'm fixing to do right now. This is the garter so the ribbons aren't as long. They go on the arm. So you don't want it to go, you know, down past their hand because then it gets in the way. So now I've got to try to figure out how to space it out. These, these will staple onto this about like that. And then they'll hang down. So I've got to make sure I've got my, my letters starting down past Oh, you can't see. Starting down past here. It'll probably need to be stapled about like that in order for it to be able to have the whole homecoming name on it. But in the very back, you just do the plain ribbons and then you layer them up. And then these that have the names on them, they go towards the top. That way you can see it whenever they have it on. So, the letters I'm going to put on it are just some white letters, and I got it at Hobby Lobby, you know, over there where all the letters are, where the scrapbooking stuff is. So, I think I'm going to put this homecoming on here first, and hopefully I can space it out just right. Start it. Let's see here. If I was a staple it about right there. I need to start it about right there. Some glitter glue coming off. All right, now let's just hope I have enough room. If I don't, I'm in trouble. Okay, we're starting over. So that will be how long the his streamers will be. There's their ribbons, and I will probably, I've got all these trinkets, and I'll probably put some trinkets, you know, like on the bottom of them, 
of some sort. Maybe this one here. Okay, guys. I screwed up once again. And I was going to put this feather... And it would it goes around like between the ribbon and this flower so now i'm going to try to push it back and put some hot glue in there and try to squeeze this in there so i told y'all i am not doing very good this year so i'm waiting for my hot glue to warm up i don't know if i want the string on here or not waiting on this hot glue to warm up and then I'm gonna try to tuck this in there and then while I've got the hot glue warm I'm gonna glue all these trinkets if you can see that on there I'm gonna hot glue these trinkets on here hold on okay I thought I'd take this off of here this is what these ribbons look like and then I'm going to hot glue all these little trinkets on here. But that's what that looks like. I think it'll be cute. You know, with the garters, you can't put, you know, because those little ribbons are, are shorter. So you can't put all the trinkets on the bottom of them. Her letter is over here drying. See, that's, that's it right there. A J. And then I have all these. These are already dry. The little music notes. Aren't they cute and sparkly? So that's drying. So we are waiting on the hot glue to get warm. And then we will attempt to put this feather around here. So stay tuned. All right, well, I burnt myself, but I got it on there. See it back there? You don't want it to stick out real far, just kind of little hints of it here and there. I think it turned out cute. See? All right, enough of that. So now I'm gonna glue these trinkets on there, and then I'll be right back. Hey guys, this is uh, the boyfriend's garter mum. So if you see, you take, the package comes with three of these in here, for those of you that don't know. And what you're supposed to do, you keep one, that way you've got a solid back that looks nice and clean, that covers all these staples up. So this is all the all the ribbons and you just kind of layer them on there I'll show you uh, with my daughters on how to do it so this is what it looks like once you get all the ribbons on there and I'm gonna have to go and trim some of them that way it kind of is all even across the bottom but uh, this is the flower part of it I haven't put the letter on it yet so the next step will be to glue these, and then that's how it's gonna look. I don't know if I've got it. I don't have it all even on there. But that's how it's gonna look. And then I will put a garter on it, and then this will go on the back. And then the letter, the letter will glue on there like that, and then I'll put the notes on it. And then that one will be done. Alright guys, I am back here working on the ribbons for my daughter. And this is what I've got so far. I haven't got very far. I've just got my big ones going across the back. And now I'm starting to just layer them. So I'm just putting whatever I want to and stapling is what I'm doing. There's no rhyme or reason what I'm doing I'm just doing it if I can 
get in the middle there. Okay. Uh. Like I told you, she likes to put hers down on her leg. And so the bottom of these uh, ribbons need to hit about at her ankle, maybe mid-calf. She don't want it too long. Uh, that way she can carry her books or whatever she's got to carry. And this mum is not in the way. Um, she doesn't like the big mums that go on your, on your chest. And she's always been this way. So I've never had to do a big mom. Just, she's actually, I think, made it more of a challenge because she wants to be different from everybody else. So, but, I'm good with that. I have always preached to my kids to be your own person no matter what everybody else is doing. Um, and, and she does it. Some think she's kind of sassy and she is. But I love the person that she is. I love, I love the person that all three of my kids have become. They're all very hard workers and they don't, they don't settle. And that's what I like about each of them. Get this glittery one on here. You know, I've told you by the time you're done, you've got a million staples in there. Usually what I put on this side, I I kind of mimic it on this side and then just do different, maybe a single one in the middle. I tried to talk her into doing a mini Mouse and she didn't want to. But she told me I could use the ribbons I'd already bought. I could put it down below. So that's what I'm doing. Put my ribbons down below. Um, See what else do I have over there? I want to go to the next size now, which will be some this size. What is that, an inch and a half? You know the All these ribbons are what makes the mom look full. And you want it to look full. You don't want it to look like you have hardly any ribbons. You know, and on these ribbons, you can put little glue, little trinkets on there. I've got some, I've already told you glued, and these will go to on the top that's got their names. That way you'll be able to see it. into it. Not much. I guess my kids come by it honestly because I don't know how to do anything halfway. If I'm going to do something, I spend a lot of time on it because I, I don't know, I take pride in what I do and that's what you should do. Take pride in what you do. To make it, to make it your best. 
Her favorite is actually Mickey Mouse. She likes Mickey better than Minnie. See, they're so cute. I just love Minnie and Mickey. Okay, I think I'm finished. I got all her ribbons on there. That way you can see the names. See, it's homecoming. And then I will hot glue this on there. And that's what it will look like. Oh, you can't see the flower. And then I got I got her J finished and all glittered. So her J will go in the middle like that. Okay, I have got the finished product here that I'm holding of these moms. Um, I'm sorry, once again, whenever I come in to do it the other night, I was just ready to get it done. I told you these things have drove me crazy this year. So this is the garter uh, that I ended up doing. I know I wasn't gonna put glitter on his letter because this is the garter. You see, it's the short one. But I don't know, the glitter just kind of helped it. The, the just plain blue was kind of dull. And then I ended up putting, I'm hoping this will pass as a panther because that was all I could find because they, they are the panthers. But I thought it turned out really cute. It's a garter. So what I did on this garter, this is the first time I have done this, but in between the layers, I put that garter inside of it, stapled it and hot glued it. So I'm hoping it'll, it'll stay together for them. But this is it. This is a close up. But I thought it turned out pretty cute. One more thing I did wrong. His name had a A instead of an E and I had no big letter. So he got a little A there. So I don't think people will concentrate on that. Or at least I hope not. And then hers is a little longer. Hers, by the way, is also a garter. Because I told you she likes to wear it on her leg. But this one is hers, and it's got the glittery J, and then the little panther, I'm hoping, once again. Uh, on hers, I didn't like the way this, this white flower was laying, so I went and got a smaller, smaller one to put in the middle. And I, I really like the way that turned out. And then I put homecoming up here with the little bit of, uh, what do you call this, boa or whatever that went around hers is longer let me see if i can back up here and show you see hers is longer but here's a close-up of what it looks like She didn't want me to do the Minnie and Mickey like I told you, but she told me I could put the ribbons down below. So you see some of the Mickey and Minnie Mouse ribbons in there. And then we got some music notes. So I thought it turned out really cute. I end up putting these glittery notes. I used, I just hung them down here. That way it wasn't too crowded up here in the flower. But I'll take this camera off of here and give you a up close. All right, guys. So that about does it for me. Um, I will actually have a video that comes out on Friday. So this is not my Friday video. But um, until Friday, y'all have a good rest of the week. Bye-bye.